Okay, I decided to go with five strands on this. And you can see there, one of those strands is from way deep in the center of the split. And um, remember to continue on clockwise, because we pick clockwise for this tree. And then you just got to find how these wires coming out kind of move them around until you find you know find them starting to make a good clockwork pattern um, it, it's uh, just one of them things you got to kind of play with it till it looks right and uh, basically what I'm gonna do this is only a five strand so I'm not it's hard to wrap the thinner you get the strands the lower the strand count the harder it is to use the wrap so I'm gonna go ahead oh, this is gonna be hard to see and I'm going to split this branch off by hand. I'm going to start it by hand. And that's basically you just... And this is where you want your wire straight. You don't want to be having curvy wire down here when you're making a branch because it just won't come out right. really helps to have the wire stay straight. And then I keep just taking each strand even and going in... Oh, out of the picture again. And I keep going clockwise with them and tangling them up. You can see a branch starting to form there. Okay, now an important thing is where is this branch going to go? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Because um, you, you, you got to put the direction in the branch as you're twisting it. And I'm gonna, so I'm going to evaluate here and I'm going to get back. I'm going to spin the tree around. Well, uh, basically I'm going to spin it around and look at it from all angles and make sure I'm going where I want to with that dang branch. And you can't see me doing it, but it's something you should do. And I'm just holding it by the roots, spinning it around, trying to imagine where I want that branch to go. And I think I'm actually going to have this branch go up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there and I'm going to bend it up right away. And it's not as important on a five strand branch, but the more strands you have in your branch, the harder it's going to make it to change a direction that you've been twisting because the strands will resist you. Okay, I twisted it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the tighten up on these wires. Wiggle them around, get them tight so there's no air in there. And I'm just going to kind of check it out and say, wow, you know, I think that that's pretty good. I got you know at least uh, five six wraps in there so this branch should be able to sit pretty steady but now I'm gonna lock it in place kinda I'm gonna put my finger on here and I'm gonna bend a right angle on the branch and then I'm gonna do another right angle back to straight and what I've done is put a crank on it fives are easy to crank with your fingers don't bother wrapping them so you just get in there on the crank and crank it clockwise and then uh, you end up with a lock twist there. Those are twisted real tight, looking sharp. You can leave that crank in there for a while or what have you. But uh, now it's time to do the tighten up on the trunk. Because we got that split in there from doing the branch. Don't want to leave that in there. So what I'm going to do is just collapse it back together. And do the tighten up on that, which is bend it back and forth, wiggle it. Do the tighten up. Do the tighten up! You get that cool wind noise. Which brings up a, a safety thing. That cool wind noise, that, that's because the end of the wire is moving pretty fast out there. And uh, make sure there's no people around you because the stuff's still sticking out a good number of inches and you can whip it right into one in their eyeballs or what have you. So your kids come running up to you while you're working on the tree put the tree down okay now the particular area I want to look at and wear safety glasses I've had wire pierce me all over the place boy I just can't get used to this backwards thing and plus I don't want to knock the camera over <laughs> okay you can see now though there's that branch coming out of that split the two wires right in there, you want to pinch them together as tight as you can around that branch and hide that little gap there. If I'm pulling out, um, say, like a 20 strand branch out of a 100 strand trunk, I'll even take a wire now, I'll go back in there and I'll pull that one wire out that's back there that you can see hiding. See him? 
I'll pull him out and then I'll tighten up this part right here leaving that wire sticking out and then I'll fold that wire over the top to try and hide that gap even a little better and then continue on twisting but yeah I'm gonna keep doing the tighten up I'm gonna pinch that together down there it's kinda like you get your fingernails in there and you fold it one way and put your fingernail on the other side fold it back let's see if we can get that little guy to disappear never gonna disappear completely oh, where are we yeah, it's getting closer I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw throw my uh, my nylon wrench back on up here and I'm gonna use the same one I was just using because it's the right size and it's got some curl in it already it's kinda tuned for this tree we'll say remember you get your thumb on there ah, that stuff's hard to see sorry get a couple of wraps that's like two and a half and then you hold hold the with your back three fingers you can hold the tension on the wrap and then put your fingers on there and start spinning it clockwise while you're pulling on it to tighten it up and it's getting tighter And I'm going to tighten up my wrench. And then I'm going to wrap it. Usually about three, four wraps. We'll do it. Oops, I snared my plastic. Looks like one wrap's going to have to do it this time. Um, so there, now I'm ready to twist more trunk again. So really right now, I mean, between them two things there, that's, that's, the, the, that's the, the, the half of it, I guess. Um, where am I here? Let's see what. I think that's going to be the front for you guys there. So uh, that, that's where I'm at so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope I'm. Hope I'm giving a good show or whatever. Later.